Welcome to SnapComs, your internal communications solution. In this video, you'll learn how to create your own simple screensavers and display them on any employee's computer. A simple screensaver can be an image, a slideshow of images, an online video, or even a live web page. To get started, just log in to the Content Manager. Click Create Content and choose a folder where you'd like to save your work. Then click on Screensaver and on the next page, click the green Screensaver icon. Be sure to give your Screensaver a memorable name. This is how your Screensaver will appear in each user's message history window and also in your content folder. Then click Create to open our new designer. This is your canvas where you'll build your Screensavers. In this video, you'll learn how to use these shortcuts to create simple Screensavers. Later, you can use the tools on the right to add additional elements on top and further customize your screensavers. Please see our next video tutorial, Advanced Screensavers, for help. Let's start with a simple image screensaver. Just click Select File and upload a photo, a graphic, or any other image file you like. For best results, we recommend using an image at least as big as the biggest screen you want to display it on. In this example, 1600 by 900 pixels. Then click Set Background and your image appears on the canvas. As you can see, this image tells the user to click to find out more. So let's click Edit on the right to go back to the same options we just saw. We can enter any URL to add a link to our screensaver. And again, click Set Background. Now click Preview at the bottom right for a full screen preview of your screensaver. In this example, I can click on our new link to see the appropriate web page. Let's go back and click the X to close the preview. At the bottom left, you can click Target Users and decide who should receive this message. You can click on the text field for a list of your user groups, start typing to narrow down your options, and click on the group you want or you can click on the switch for other options. For instance, if I pick users only, I can choose the individual people who should receive this screensaver. Next, set the target dates for your screensaver. By default, once you click publish, your screensaver will be available to your selected users immediately, and it will remain available for a week. But if you prefer, you can choose any start date and any end date on the calendars. You can even set exact starting and ending times using Greenwich Mean Time or the user's local time. You can also use our shortcuts and make your screensaver available for the rest of this week or the rest of this month or for one day, one week or one full month starting when you click on Publish. When you're done, click Designer to come back to your canvas. But don't click the Publish button just yet. Instead, please click on the Settings button at the top right. Here, you can change basic options like the name of your screensaver, and you can also access the Screensaver tab for more options. For instance, if the proportions of a user's screen don't match your image, would you like to stretch the image to fill the screen even if that distorts the image? Or would you rather resize the image to fit on their screen without distortion even if it leaves some space blank? What about exit behavior? Should the screensaver continue running until the user clicks escape? Or should it stop as soon as they touch any key or move their mouse? In this example, I'll choose escape key, so the link we added won't disappear as soon as the user moves their mouse to click on it. And finally, if you publish more than one screensaver to the same user, how long would you like this image to remain on their screen before the next screensaver appears? I'll say 30 seconds. Be sure to click Done to save your changes. When you're ready, click Publish. Review your settings and click Publish again to confirm. The next time the SnapComs app on each user's computer connects with the server, it will download the new content. And then, if the user hasn't touched their mouse or keyboard in a few minutes, they'll see your new screensaver. And remember, if you've published more than one screensaver to the same user, they'll see each one in turn, in the order in which they received them. Want more control over the order in which your images appear? 
let's go back and create a new screensaver, but this time we'll click on Slideshow. Click plus to add an image. As before, you can upload a new image or choose an image you've already uploaded. But this time, you can also add additional images, as many as you'll like. Then drag and drop to change the order in which they'll appear. You can even add a transition between your images. You can fade from one image to the next or slide them in to the left, to the right, up or down. And you can decide how long to display each slide before moving on to the next. You can also add a link, just like before. And when you're ready, click Set Background. As you can see, our new images appear one after another. In the same way, you can create a new screensaver with a video. Select YouTube or Vimeo, depending on where your video is hosted, and you'll be prompted to enter the video ID. Just open your video in a new window and look at the URL. On Vimeo, the video ID is the number after the slash. On YouTube, it's the code that comes after V equals. Just highlight the video ID, right click, and choose Copy. Then come back to Snapcoms and paste it in. Click on Set Video and we'll fill in the complete URL for you. When you're ready, click Set Background and your video screensaver appears on the canvas, all ready to publish. Just be sure to visit the Settings page and open the Screensavers tab so you can set the duration of your screensaver. You'll want it to remain on the user's screen long enough for the whole video to play. You can also create a new screensaver based on a web page. Just enter the URL, starting with HTTP or HTTPS. For instance, you might display your company's live stock prices or a local weather report or any web page you like. Click Check Address on the right to make sure the link will take you to the appropriate page. Then come back and click Set Background. Please note, if the page you chose does not appear on your canvas, that website may not be compatible with our screensavers. Please choose a different link or ask the site's webmaster about compatibility with iframes. But in this case, my web page looks great and I'm ready to publish my screensaver to one user's screen or to the whole office. One final note, you may find that some users don't see your screensavers because their copy of the Snapcoms app is not set up to receive them. Please talk to the person in your organization responsible for Snapcoms. They'll give you a new copy of the Snapcoms app to install on that user's PC, so they'll be able to see your screensavers. Thanks for watching. Now, please watch our next video, Advanced Screensavers, to learn how to add and layer additional elements and truly customize your screensavers. Or just visit our website at www.snapcoms.com. Snapcoms, get employee attention.